Okay, <laughs> here I am, <laughs> I've appeared, excellent. Okay, welcome to the final week. So today, I'm gonna actually hit you with a lot of material about mastering because the objective is just for you to understand what goes on uh, in a mastering process. <clears throat> but really for your assignments, all you need to do is to do a couple of very simple things and I'll make sure you're really clear on that before we wind up today. Um, so don't worry too much. There'll be there'll be quite a lot of density of material. But as I say, the 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 purpose of me presenting this material is to give you a, a sort of a deeper insight into what mastering is and how it works and what that final stage of music production is all about. Because really, then you get that end to end view, you know, across the whole unit where we've been looking at everything from setting up the first microphone through to tracking and organizing tracks and then, you know, mixing. And then this final stage, which we're going to talk about today, which is the, the mastering, which is the preparation uh, for the release of the actual track. So it's my hope that in this overall arc of the whole unit, what you will have been in, on in terms of the journey is this entire production process from the beginning of setting up in a studio and recording to the, the very last stage of the process, which is where you've got a master. And that master is then ready to you know, unleash onto the world through all of the world's uh, distribution platforms. All of these are extremely deep topics, as I think you've probably gathered from just as we've gone through the the eat from week to week. You know, you could spend weeks on each one, but we don't really have that time in this unit. So what we can hope for is is to get a, a sort of a broad overview, but that broad overview at a professional level. You know, it steps up from that whole second year level to, to the third year level, really looking about professional music production and how it works in the real world and so the the hope is that you guys will you know leave this unit with a pretty resolved view of at least all of these aspects and then the opportunity then you know like all of us you know to deepen your understanding of each one of those different phases as you know as you get better at what you do as you get more experience as what you do each one of those phases from setting up mics to you know mixing to arranging tracks and you know getting the musical arrangements to work and getting performances to work and then mixing it not well and then getting it to work well as we'll see today across platforms they're all totally deep areas which is why in the you know professional industry you get people who actually just specialize in one of those areas and that's because they're deep enough to be an, a, a, an ultra specialist in each one of those areas. Now, so there'll be a lot of material that'll come at you today, but the the punchline is that for your assignments, there's only a few simple things that you need to observe when you're running off your mixes and you are preparing a master. Because you'll see in the assignment spec, I've got some technical specifications there that are probably, you know, gobbledygook to you right now. But the hope is that after today you'll go, oh yeah, I know exactly what that means. Okay, so that's the objective for today is, you know, you look at that assignment spec and you go, okay, I know what I need to do. All right, so in, to try and get all of this information condensed down quickly and to try and get it out to you as quickly as possible because, you know, you're submitting your assignments on Monday. Um, I've actually done a lot of today as a bunch of pre-records and so what we'll do today is we will um, look at these pre-records, we'll pause in between each one of them and we'll discuss but it's just a way of actually banging out the material quickly. It's it's more condensed um, if I do it as, a, as, a, as an edited pre-record rather than trying to do it all live. So what we're going to do is this first hour we're just going to go through understanding everything we can about mastering and understanding everything we can about delivery platforms like streaming services and download services and CD and vinyl and all of these things. And then in the second hour, we will go back, I'll open the Pro Tools session, and that's where we'll kind of look at the practical application of some of this uh, in, in a Pro Tools session, and we'll get audio movers going for that second part. So if you go to week 13 and you see Mastering for Platforms, this first one's the longest, it's about 15 minutes. <clears throat> All good. I'm just, I wasn't kidding when I said there was going to be a lot of material coming out here. I'm about to give you more. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, it's good. good. Yeah, all good? Is everyone following? Okay. Key things about loudness, you know, loudness competition, things have got louder and louder over the years. Um, you know, I so said this concept of luffs is really important because it's not just a, it, you know, there's a difference between metering signal level uh, and, and measuring apparent loudness. And apparent loudness is a kind of a different thing to signal level. You guys will have all had the experience by now of bouncing out mixes from your assignments and then putting them up in a file player like iTunes or something like that and playing it back with commercial tracks and being astonished at how soft your stuff is compared to the stuff that's playing back out of, out of iTunes or something, right? Everyone will have had that experience by now. So we will demystify that uh, after today. <laughs>